my pony express. Four horses couldn't be one horse anyway. Think he's gonna put me out. for the future of the Pony Express. Can't you talk about something more pleasant? Oh, I wouldn't say that, Higgins. You no use denying the truth. Well, why can't the Pony Express and the stagecoach combine and work together? Does Billy Carson agree to that? Well, not yet, but I'm sure he will after Sally explains it to him when the stagecoach gets in this afternoon. She's riding with it on the first trip. Uh, you'll never get him perched up on that monkey box. He likes to sit in the saddle too well. How's the road building coming along? Pretty good. We're about ready to start through the Badlands. Oh, then you've gotten your government permission. <laughs> yes, a couple of days ago. You know, this stagecoach line is going to mean a lot to the people out here on the frontier. It certainly will. Well, see you later. You're wasting your time talking to Farrell. I know all he does and more. Have you had a report from your man in the Capitol? Yes, and all your legal maneuvering hasn't stopped Farrell from getting the rights to run his road through the Badlands. He told me so. And that means three things. All of them bad. What's that? First, the land will be open to the public. Second, the law will move in, break up an organization that we've been years building up. And third, stagecoach company will be given grants of land along the route that is the most valuable of the territory. Right. That's the land I want, and the land I'm going to have. Maybe we can still get it. There's no maybe about it. We're going to get it. I know of no law. That There's I... no law in the bad land. Nothing but wanted men controlled by us. That's why I feel I can handle it my way. Without showing your hand? Yes. I'm going to let Steve Lacey handle it. And from now on, Farrell is going to run into nothing but trouble.
Well, he'll write the things, will he? Sally will tell you, Mr. Farrell. I gotta get this mail through. Talking bunch of horses. Yeah. Hey, what about Jed here? Oh, I'll take care of him. I don't know why you dragged me up here, Lacey. But whatever it is, you can bet I ain't going to give you no help. That's what you think. Seems to be only two men watching the herd. They're down there. The rest of them are probably in town for the dance tonight. Remember, we want the horses, not the men. They must be left alive. I don't get it. They've got to bring word into Carson and Farrell's men run off his horses. And that's where you come in, my friend. Let's go. Hey, what's that 
moving over there. Looks like we've winged one of them. Come on. Yeah. Tom Farrell will be back of this raid? That's for Billy to decide. We're heading for town. We're going to have a little song number by the Big Slicker Quartet here. Now, play it, boys. Make it hot and good.
You didn't do it? Come on, Sally. Doc will do all he can for him. You haven't answered my question yet. Why should I shoot Farrell? For running off your horses. That's utter nonsense. Not according to what Billy's man told me. He fired this gun recently. That's right. It's the man who shot Farrell. Can you prove it? Billy. Didn't shoot me. Take it easy, Tom. Dad, do as Doc says. The man that shot me was out there. Was he? Do you know? I could only see the flash of his gun. Tom, somebody's trying to get us to fight each other. That's right, son. Well, they won't get away with it. I'll help Sally build the road through the Badlands until you get back on your feet again. Thanks, Billy. Come on, fellas, give me a hand. Come on, boys. Take it. haven't made any effort to cover the tracks of the horses. It ain't to the lack of opportunity. We've passed through plenty of rocky country. Don't understand it, but me neither. Well, I reckon we might as well push on. Here. You know, Fuzz, somehow I don't like the looks of things. Uh, me neither. But they, they didn't all cross here. Some of them went that way. Let's go and see if we can pick up any signs of the other riders. How many men are in on this setup? Slim and Curly said there were seven or eight of them. Looks like some of them cut off here and headed up into the hills. Well, let's get out of here. Wait a minute. We might run right into a trap. Seven men laying an ambush for two is a kind of a waste of gun talent. Well, they might not be within a dozen miles of here, Fuzz. Then we might be covered by guns right now. That ain't so good. No, it isn't. What do we do? Now we came here to get those horses. What do you think we're going to do? Oh, by grab, we'll get them. When you get past those rocks there, get your horses running. Just in case.
Are they looking for us? We'll cut back and get the horses. Yeah, they can't be far from here.
Yeah, and this is one of the men that ran him off. Why hasn't the stage left, Sally? Well, we've been having a little trouble. I'll take him on down to the sheriff. And as soon as I get some men to help Fuzzy round up the herd, I'll be back. Come on, Red. What's happened? Carson got his horses back. Turner's dead. And Red's been thrown in jail. We sure got ourselves in a tight spot. Yes. Things didn't work out like I figured. Well, I did the best I could. I'm not blaming you any, Steve. We can't let Red go to trial. He'll talk to save his neck. Oh, I'll have him out of jail before that happens. If you can do that, Steve, we'll make it so hot for Carson, he'll wish he never was born. <laughs> well, I'm ready to go to work, Sally. Thanks, Billy, but I'm doubtful if there's anything you can do. Why not? The men refuse to work. They do? Where are they? Out in the wagon yard. By the way, how's your dad? Oh, he's fine, but Doc says it'll be months before he's up and around again. Well, we'll keep things going. You better stay in here, Sally. What's holding up the stage from leaving now? What's it to you? Quite a bit. From now till Farrell gets back on the job again, I'm running this outfit. Maybe you're ready to pay our wages. They do today? They've been due for over a month. Well, you'll get them. Now, Al, get this stage a rolling. You men, clean up this mess. Nothing doing until somebody shells out our pay. I said you'd get it. Now, either you men start to work, or I'll get some men in here that will. Nobody, us or any other men, will turn a wheel until we're paid. You heard what I said. <laughs> You get to work or get out. You mean it about paying those wages? I never meant anything more. Well, I'm willing to gamble. That's fine. Now, from now on, you handle this end. Get yourself a hostler that can fight, and you'll be paid fighting wages. Same thing goes all the way down the line. Now, get to work. Come on, Sally. He don't lose any time when he gets going. I know you had to say what you said to the men, Billy, but I'm afraid we can't pay them. Can't pay them? Why not? Well, we're running low on cash. Dad was arranging for a loan when he was shot. Well, I'll advance you all the money that you need until your dad's back on his feet again. Oh, I couldn't let you do that, Billy. Why? All right. I'll agree to it on one condition. What's that? That you take a mortgage on the franchise and equipment we have. <laughs> that won't be necessary. Well, probably not, but it's business. We'll go over to Higgins' office and have him draw up the papers right away. All right, if that's the way you want it, Sally. I'll clean up and then I'll meet you at his office, okay? Okay. I want you to draw up a chattel mortgage in Billy's favor on the stage line for money he's advancing in the next three months. How much are you advancing? Uh, just enough to keep the work going. Do you want to specify the amount that Carson is giving? No. Billy has to start paying bills today, so I'd appreciate it if you'd arrange the legal end right away. Well, you come in in about an hour. Everything will be ready. Thanks, Mr. Higgins. I'll bring the money in on my next run, Sally. Get away! Get away! Prisoner's escaped! Prisoner's escaped! That printer you brought in escaped. Steve Lacey hit me over the head and freed him. Hit you over the head? How long ago? Uh, Ten or fifteen minutes ago. Probably on the way to the Badlands by now. Well, I'm going after him. 
Try to catch him before they get there. Listen, I'd like to go with you, Sheriff, but I got a mail run to make. Good luck. Thanks. Come on, Kelly. Stall all you can going up that cattle mortgage to give Steve a chance to get to work. We've got to wreck both the stage line and the Pony Express. Carson's got to be stopped from bringing that money. Don't worry. Steve Lacey will stop him. <laughs> money you carry. We're on to you, Carson. We know every move you make. Where's the money? Right in those saddlebags. Hand it to me. Okay. Shoes loose. Tighten it up, will you, Fuzzy? Sure. 
Can they get in from his run yet? No. Uh, I wish I'd have gone with him. Well, we've driven most of that wild bunch back into the Badlands. Yeah, you should have kept them there in the first place, then they wouldn't have gotten away with what they did. I can't do the impossible. Hey, Fred. Get off, Steve. Where'd you pick him up, Billy? Over in the Rocky Canyon. Tried to push back me, Sheriff. Hey, you gambled on your luck just once too often, Steve. Maybe and maybe not. Hey, it's a cinch we can find out from him who's behind the attacks on the stagecoach and the Pony Express. Hey, now, start talking. Take it easy, Buzz. He doesn't have to say anything about that. I know. You know? And you ain't done nothing about it? It doesn't make sense, Billy. When Steve's man held me up, he mentioned money I was bringing in to keep the stage line going. Till Farrell could get back on the job again. Now, only three people besides myself knew about that. Sally, Higgins, and Stone. Well, you can count Sally out. That leaves Higgins and Stone. Isn't that right, Steve? How from in the who's gal? That won't do any good. Without proof to back up my claim, we'll never get a conviction. Wipe that smile off your mug before I knock it off. Oh, Billy, turn Steve over to me. <laughs> I'll make him talk. I've got a better idea than that. Now, Fuzz, you go over and pick up Stone. Bring him over to the corral and... All right, Sheriff. Get around the side window and keep your gun on. Come on in here, Steve. Thank you. Now, you've got two guns on you. Do as I told you, understand? I'll get going. What are you doing here, Steve? I told you not to come to this office. Well, I, I couldn't get back into Badlands, and I had to get rid of it. You run into trouble? I'll say, Jim. Now get your hands up, Higgins. Round up all the men you can and follow me. We'll go right in the Badlands if we have to. All right, get your horses, men. We're riding.
Pass it out. I don't know what went wrong, but Higgins and Steve have been arrested. Carson's on our heels with a posse. We'll have to fight them off. I'll take care of him. We're going over the coast, girls. You take care of things here, Sheriff. Sure. If they don't get here pretty soon, that serum won't do us any good. Here it comes now. Have you got that serum? You betcha. Come on, run it. I sure do, but it served its purpose. You know, things change, Sally. We've got to change with them. Do you think that'll ever happen to the Farallon Carson stage line? Oh, I wouldn't be surprised. You know, with new territories opening up, civilization moving westward, 
Well, business is bound to develop. And we'll develop right with it. We'll be the biggest outfit west of the Rockies. You're forgetting the railroads. They won't be sitting around. You know, someday, Sally, they're going to have a railroad in every town and hamlet in the country. Eh, as soon as you were in your pretty head about that. It's a long time coming. In the meantime, we have a job to do. That's right. Where's Fuzzy? Outside, chewing my horse. He should be here any minute. Horseshoes are lucky. They've always been lucky. That's right. Sure. Give me those. <laughs> this is good luck to our new company.